Today I will be explaining partitive and quotative division. Partitive division is used when you know the number of groups you will end up with. You just need to split items into the groups you have. So this is when you know the total number of items you have and the number of groups you have, but you're figuring out how many items are in each group. So we're figuring out how many items are in each group. That is partitive. And then quotative division is used when you know the number of items each group will have. So when you know the total number of items you have and the total number of items going to each group, you are figuring out how many groups you will end up with. So to start, we are going to talk about partitive division, where we know the number of groups to split our items into, and we'll be figuring out how many items are in each group. So to begin, we are going to start with five groups and 15 yellow candies. How many candies will be in each group? So I'm going to be using paper plates as our groups. So I'm going to have five groups. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our five groups. And I'm going to have 15 yellow candies. And I'm going to put these 15 candies into the five groups we have and we're going to figure out how many are in each. So I'm going to put one candy in each group. One. And then I'm going to put two in each group. And then I'm going to put three candies in each of my groups. And in the end, we can see that with my 15 candies evenly distributed into the five groups, we have three candies in each of our groups. Now I'm going to move on to a different example using crackers. So for the cracker example, we are going to have 12 crackers and we know that we have three groups and we need to figure out how many crackers will be in each group. So here are my three groups, one, two, Three, and I need to evenly distribute my 12 crackers into these three groups. So I'm going to start off by putting one cracker in each group. And I still have some left over, so I know I can make a second group. I have two items in each group. And then I'm going to put three items in each group. And then four in each group. So in the end, with my 12 crackers that I evenly distributed into our three groups, I can see that I have four crackers into and for each group. So four crackers for our three groups. And then for our last example with partitive division, we are going to use 21 cheese sticks and seven groups. And we need to figure out how many cheese sticks will go into each group. So I'm going to lay out my seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then here are my 21 cheese sticks, and I need to evenly distribute the cheese sticks into the seven groups. So I'm going to start off by putting one cheese stick into each group, and I still have some cheese sticks left over, so I know I can do groups of two, two items for each of my groups. I still have some cheese sticks, so I'm going to put another cheese stick in each of my groups. And I finished distributing all my cheese sticks. So now that we can see with our 21 cheese sticks and our seven groups, we have three cheese sticks in each of our groups. So that is our three examples using quotative division. And now we are going to move on to quotative division. Remember, quotative division is um, when we know how many items are in each group, but we are figuring out how many groups we will end up with. So for our next example, we are going to be using 13 animal cookies, and we know that there will be three cookies in each group, so we need to figure out how many groups we will end up with. So I'm going to lay out my... Here are my 13 animal cookies, and I know that I'll have three in each group, so here's my first group. I'm going to put three cookies in it. One, two, 
three. I still have some left over, so I know I can make a group, another group. So for my group two, I have three cookies in there. One, two, three. I still have some left over, so I know I can make a third group. One, two, three. I still have some left over, so I can make a fourth group. One, two, three. And then I have one little cookie that will not fit into these, so I'll have it out. So as we can see, we end up with four groups, and we have one cookie left over, and that one cookie left over is called a remainder. So with our 13 animal cookies, and three in each, we were able to make four groups with one left over. Now for our next example, we are going to use 24 chocolate chips. 24 chocolate chips, and we know that there are four chocolate chips in each group. So do you know how many groups with four chocolates each will have? So there are 24. So I'm going to start off with my first group and put four chocolate chips in it. One, two, three, four. I know I have some chocolate chips left over, so I can make a second group. One, two, three, four. I can make, I'm able to make a third group. One, two, three, four. I'm able to make a fourth group because there's still chocolate chips in there. One, two, three, four. I still have some chocolate chips left over, so I know that I can make a group of five. One, two, three, four. And I still have some chocolate chips, so I'm going to make a sixth group. One, two, three, four. So in the end, we end up with six groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups with four chocolate chips in each of them. And now for our last example, using quotative division, we are going to use noodles. So I'm going to have 20 noodles, and there are going to be five noodles in each group. So here are 20 noodles and five noodles in each. So I'm going to start off with my first group and put five noodles in it. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to make a second group with five noodles. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make a third group with five noodles in it. One, two, three, four, five. And then I still have some noodles left over, so I know I can make another group. So this is my group four. One, two, three, four, five. So in the end, we end up with, after dividing the noodles up, we see that we have four noodles, five noodles, sorry, five noodles in our four groups. So I was evenly, I distributed our 20 noodles with five in each and we have four groups. Right. So now that summed up our partitive and quotative division. And I just want to remind you that partitive and Partitive and quotative division, what their definitions are. Partitive division is when we are figuring out how many items will be in each group. And quotative division is when we are figuring out how many groups we will end up with.